Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Huge changes coming to Lexus and Toyota with Koji Sato becoming president as well as retaining his chief engineer status. We also have a Gazoo Racing Yaris. It's gonna be a rally car. Not gonna see it in the US though. And at the end, we'll talk about a flying Camry. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more Toyota and Lexus news, and let's get into it. Over at europe.autonews.com, chief engineer pointed to lead Lexus. The man who engineered one of Lexus sexiest cars is now taking the helm of the entire luxury brand as part of a personnel shuffle at Toyota Motor. Koji Sato, who's only 50, currently executive vice president and chief engineer of Lexus International will become president effective January 1st. Sato is best known as a chief engineer of the super sleek LC sports coupe and for his work developing the GAL platform for rear wheel drive Lexus vehicles, including the LS. He replaces Yoshihiro Sawa, 62, and retain his title as Lexus chief engineer. There are, there are additional changes for Toyota in this article. As you guys know, I tend to focus a little bit more on Lexus on my channel, so if you guys wanna read this, go ahead and pause it so you guys can read it yourself. There will also be a link in the description. What does this mean for Lexus that this man, Koji Sato, is taking over as president? Well, I think the vehicles have a good chance of looking really, really awesome. <laughs> if the LC is anything to go by, I think the LC is arguably the best looking Lexus ever made. And I think that that sort of design language will flow into the rest of the Lexus lineup. Very sleek, very beautiful cars. At least we can hope, right? We can hope. But I think the brand is in good hands with his portfolio under his belt. He will be able to lead Lexus into a new era of beautiful cars and a well-performing and enticing vehicles. Over at Bloomberg, Toyota's biggest problem is keeping hybrid cars in stock. The only thing holding us back on hybrids is capacity. Bob Carter, Toyota's North American Executive Vice President for Sales, told reporters on Thursday at an event in Detroit, we can't make enough Corolla or RAV4 hybrids. Toyota's hybrids accounted for 13% of total Toyota and Lexus brand sales in the US last month and made up nearly a quarter of the volume for its top seller, the RAV4. Toyota could easily sell twice the number of hybrid RAV4 models but can't source enough electric batteries for the popular vehicle. It currently has an 11 day supply of stock compared to the more than 20 days supply of the gasoline powered version. Toyota plans to ship production of the RAV4 hybrid from Canada, which I'm assuming is made right next to the Lexus RX up in Ontario, to a plant in Kentucky early next year and also add a plug-in hybrid, which is the, the prime plug-in hybrid option for the next summer to reported to be imported from Japan. That's something we had no idea about that the RAV4 Prime was going to be made in Japan. But that growing demand for hybrid versions of the RAV4 Corolla and other Toyota vehicles has come to the expense of its most famous hybrid, the Prius, sales of which are down 21%. And if you guys have been watching my channel, I honestly think the Prius is dead unless they make it a fully electric vehicle. When the, when the Corolla sells much better and now they have a hybrid version of it, the Prius is completely pointless at this point. <laughs> Uh, they really need to have a fully electric or at least a very, very large plug-in electric range more than like the current 25 and the, and the current Prius Prime. So we're over at the press room in Australia for Lexus and they are just crushing it over there. Lexus sales have surged in the second half of this year, positioning the luxury lifestyle brand within just 136 vehicles of achieving a new full year sales record. The year on year improvement for Lexus has progressively widened from 2.1% at the end of July, rising to 5.2 in August, 6.6 .6 in September, and 7.7 .7 at the end of October, and further again in November, which was the 9.4%. Last month's delivery of 894 vehicles was strongest monthly result since June and lifted total sales as far to 8891 vehicles, 762 more than the same time a year ago. Because of this, they expect to eclipse its full year uh, sales record of 9,027 vehicles set in 2016. So what does well there? Well, the NX does really well. They sold 355 in November. The LX does really well. Why? Well, because Australia is the land of land cruisers. 
The LX uh, has posted its strongest November year to date tally in 16 years with almost 400 sales. And the ES is also crushing, notching, notching its highest November year to date performance in five years with almost 520 sales compared to just 185 last year. That's mind blowing how it's like triple the sales essentially of the ES. That's really, really cool. Over at CarBuzz, Toyota Yaris GR4 all-wheel deal, all wheel deal, all-wheel drive hot hatch looks and sounds incredible. Check out this article if you want to hear it. I don't think it sounds incredible. There's just a really small 20-second clip of it, but feel free to check out that video in this article. I'm not going to read it, but what can we take from it? Well, it's going to be all-wheel drive. But they don't really know the motor that's going to be in it. It could be a turbo three or turbo four cylinder. Uh, and of course, it's going to have a manual transmission. Are we going to see it here in America? Absolutely not. Why? Because we don't get this Yaris. We don't get the new redesigned Yaris that just came out in Europe and Japan and other markets. We get the Mazda 2, which is not even available in America, but the Toyota badge engineered it from the Mexico plant, slapped a Yaris sign on that Mazda 2. So we don't really get a Yaris in, the, in America anymore. So really, really tough that we don't get these fun vehicles. Would it sell well here anyways? Probably not. It'd probably be about $30,000. No one's going to pay that much money for a small all-wheel drive. Although fun, manual transmission car. I know I might. <laughs> that sounds like one of the coolest things ever. Uh, but you guys know I am not the majority or even the addressable market uh, for Toyota here in the United States. Over at Automotive News, Toyota and Lexus adjust auto show strategy to aim at consumers. So again, I'm not gonna read this full article, but this guy, Bob Carter, again, we kind of quoted him earlier. They're not gonna do hardly any press conferences anymore or like vehicle unveils. Well, they probably will do some of that in the future, uh, but they're gonna focus more on driving and interactive experiences. If you guys remember my video on the Tokyo Motor Show, Toyota really didn't un unveil anything. They didn't do a whole lot of stuff um, other than their exhibit was very flushed out with things to do for Lexus and Toyota, very interactive, lots of activities to do there at the Motor Show. Now, I myself will be uh, representing my dealership here in Omaha at the Motor Show we have in January. I don't expect them to do anything crazy for that. I don't expect even the, them to have test drives or anything like that either. I will let you guys know how they set up the event. I'll take pictures for you guys and feature it on my channel. It'll be a lot of fun. But yes, they're stepping away from uh, the big boys, uh, not so much on press conferences and just making it more um, focused on people who are visiting the show. And guys, this is what you came here for. Over at Fox News, Toyota Camry jumps 139 feet into a parking lot after driver loses control. Of course, this is in Florida. <laughs> where, where else would this happen? If you see this picture here, essentially what happened, there were no vehicles right here. This guy flew off the road and, he, and you see this ramp. He ramps it and flies 137 feet. Boom, Evil Knievel style. That's what it looked like afterwards. <laughs> Look at that, that's so crazy. That is absolutely ridiculous. But any guys, anyways, I'll put the link if you guys wanna read more into it. It's just more fun than anything. So what do you guys think about the news today? Koji Sato is going to take really good care of the brand. I'm really excited to see the more beautiful, elegant, and unique style that he's brought to the LC and see it kind of infected into the rest of the Lexus lineup. Of course, Lexus crushing it in Australia. We saw flying Toyotas and of course other things as well. Nothing crazy today for news. I will be seeing you guys in the near future for more videos. If you guys like the video, of course, we'll press that like button. Patreon supporters, you guys rock. If you wanna support the channel, link will be in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace out.